Today we're here at uh, Cheese Nuts Park for the All Japan Hard Enduro Championship. Uh, the, this race is called Mount Monkey Scramble and uh, both myself and Phil are entered. Should be a lot of fun. This weekend Phil and I have entered the Mount Mon Monkey Scramble. It's at Cheese Nuts Park in Fukushima Ken which is about 300 kilometers north of Tokyo. And uh, this is the day before the race. Beautiful weather, and uh, we're just getting ready for it. And we're going to have a look at uh, some of the bikes in the paddock. This is the IRC GNET team, and they've got three bikes. Got a Gas Gas 300. And the next bike is uh, Roshi's, it's number one. It's a Beta Double R 300. And next to that is a Beta 350. This is Ross's 300. She has a carburetor set up. It's a Keihing. It's got a modified shift lever, which is interesting. This Gas Gas 300 has got uh, full carbon guards on the cases. And they've got some IRC tyres on display. This is the uh, new V33S Gakota. Um, it's a gummy tyre. <laughs> And this is the older Gekota. The knobs are a lot smaller, a lot more flexible as well. And this is a modified cross trainer. It's got a 19-inch front wheel and a 16-inch rear wheel. And it's uh, been set up for uh, smaller riders. So a really cool idea. And this is the Yamaha team. And this is number five, and the rider is uh, Suzuki-san and it's a 125 Yamaha so uh, it's got a, uh, a custom pipe on it which is quite interested hand welded you can see there short pipe I haven't seen this tire before it's a Geomax MX11 very aggressive looking tire that's a nice touch, so they uh, have all the Yamaha loop set up and uh, it says here, please feel free to use this, so it's very nice. So this is the hill that uh, the Scramble gets its name from, it's called Mount Monkey and uh, it's pretty steep. Um, the first lap you don't need to go up it, but the, it's the start of the second lap, so uh, we'll see if I make it uh, around to the, the start of the second lap. So this is Saturday afternoon and uh, we're checking out the course. We're allowed to walk the course, so uh, this will be uh, really valuable for us. So this is the first hill climb. It doesn't look too bad. It gets a little bit steep up the top there. This one looks like a fun hill climb. The whole course is uh, in these woods, so if you don't like trees, uh, you're not going to have much fun here. There's no shortage of tricky hill climbs. This one's particularly tricky. <laughs> Phil, I think you're overthinking it. I think you are overthinking it, mate. The trees got up here, right, didn't they? Look at them just standing here. This is a nice little section. It's got a stream running down through it and carries on up through there. <laughs> This hill looks very challenging. There's uh, absolutely no line at all. We're we'll making new lines tomorrow. The interesting bit here. A little jump up onto the bank and then up into a hill climb. The car park's starting to fill up now. Um, I think there's going to be about 100 riders tomorrow. Uh, roughly half in the challenge class and half in the enjoy class. 
This is Ayata Sun's bike. It's a uh, Husqvarna T150. And you see, it's number two. He uh, actually won the race here last year. So uh, I'm expecting him to do really well. Yeah, I'm Ayato. I actually rode with Ayato last year at Sanage for a day, which was really good fun. He's <laughs> a great rider. Good luck. Good, thank you. So the bike has hardly any modifications. Uh, the pipe is a, a depth, and uh, he's changed the sprocket, the front sprocket, to a 12. Other than that, it's pretty much normal. I think he's got different handlebars, but uh, yeah, virtually no modifications. His rear tire is running a Shinko DC uh, 540. It's the dual compound one, so it's soft in the middle and firmer on the outside. So. Uh, fairly stiff sidewalls. You can run really low pressure with this without uh, puncturing on rocks. This is now Sun's bike. Now's a friend of mine. I've been riding him with him for a long time. He's riding a 250FX Yamaha and he's got his name on the swing arm. Crazy now. <laughs> this is Mazda Sun's new bike. It's a TM300. Looks really nice. It's actually the first time I've seen one. Uh, it looks really nicely made. It's got some special parts on it. Uh, the foot pegs uh, custom. You can see they're uh, angled back. <coughs> which is interesting. The suspension on this one is uh, Kayaba. And the uh, rear shock is a uh, TM made one. And this is the first time he'll be racing on this. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. He said the actual weight is 102 kilos. So a really light bike. And on the front he's got a sling fast mounted, uh, which is really handy for um, getting a tow from someone. We're at the start line. I'm starting on the 13th grid and uh, four bikes are going off at the same, same time and there's one minute between each, each uh, four bikes. So I'll be about uh, 13 minutes behind the, the leaders. They take that into consideration at the end of the race. But uh, my goal for today is uh, to enjoy the ride. <laughs> if I'm really lucky, I'll make it round one lap. Uh, but we have to see how that goes. It's a really tough course. Lots of people are saying that uh, this course is actually the, the uh, toughest course on uh, the hard enduro circuit here in Japan. So uh, we have to see how it goes. And this is the hardest year in ages as well. Yeah. So the previous three years, apparently the course was a fair bit easier. Just a preemptive for us too, so. All right, I'm gonna get ready. <laughs> Phil's behind me on the starting grid. <laughs> That's where Phil intends to stay. <laughs> I've got a deck chair packed with me. <laughs> Sandwiches. Crossword book.
shaking that. So far. Woo. the other two passes again. He was third on the first lap, after the first lap. Unbelievably, this is his third lap. I'm still on my first. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy that was leading in the first place. Didn't see the last bit that hill climb it was super tough uh, the main line was all rutted out so I stopped um, probably about 20 meters from the top and uh, another guy was there in a similar position to me so uh, we agreed to help each other so we basically pulled each other up and uh, got to the top it was a lot of hard work uh, but we made it and I think that was probably a good decision because I don't see anyone riding cleanly up the line so I think even if I went down and started again, I would have probably made it the same place. So I'm pleased uh, we did that, and I'm going to get going again now. Whew. It's uh, beautiful weather today, but it's a bit warm. So it's quite challenging, especially when you get stuck. You tend to overheat.
<laughs> well, you got something planned, have you? That's what I was going to do. Go right. Yeah. Just hang off the front. But that guy's stopped there. Uh, I don't no, know. No, no, not on this. Just this. side. One try. It's done five laps. <laughs> five. <laughs> wow. Brother, I've seen him here twice. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. <laughs>
I'm really pleased just to get this far. Wow, what a challenge. Um, I'm pretty much uh, timed out. I think I've only got a couple more minutes. But a uh, lot of fun. Definitely be back next year. Woo! It did uh, nine stages, so a little over half. All right, adding else. Woo!